Alrighty guys, um, we're out here current at bay just chasing some waiting. Uh, this is the third one for the morning. I haven't been recording um, just because it's been a bit rough and ugly out here. But the other one I've got to about 32 centimeters and the other one was about 27, 28. So they're just started to come on the chew right now, which is good. I'm just using the tentacles of the uh, squid at the moment because they're pretty good. You don't have to slither them down. And we're just sitting at one of our sand patches again. That's our little squid tentacle. better. Still slimy though. That's a good King George riding. You don't want to. The best way to grab them is around the head like that in a bit of a headlock because they are very slimy and you may lose some here and there. Always feeling for that bottom, giving that bounce, that sand cloud with that sinker. And then you also know if you're in that weed or the sand because you'll feel a bit of a grab. You might even strike sometimes, which I do still. Um, but that's okay. You'd rather strike on some weed and have it be weed rather than not strike and it be a fish. I do like to use just one rod for the whiting too because two can get a bit busy sometimes. Fair look to grassy. Check that out. Right in his side. Not good. Sorry, mate. Thought it was gonna be nice King George. <laughs> Come on, man. What am I gonna do to not catch one of these? Mm -hmm. Purple at the jacket this time is a bit of a different one. He's just fair looked underneath because he felt the touch, which that's what's quite a smack in the back. He's a beast too. Ooh, man. Come out. That's perfect. He was just sitting back off the um off the burly trail. Literally two or three meters out in front of me, yeah. He's a good one. Look at that. <laughs> Getting on on now. Good one, brother. And real finicky these whiting. Smacked him because you can barely feel the touch. Oh, he's a little one, man. Back, but I'm not putting him back down where I am because then he'll tell his buddies.
come up with one. Tiniest touch they're doing lately. They're literally a meter and a half to two meters just away from my boat. I'm just going like that, and that should get us there. I missed that one and that was a warning. Look there just in case there's still some bait on it. I don't think there is. Oh that there is. Mmm, that was a whiting. I'm actually sitting on top of a sand patch. Right here. Uh, it's quite a big one though, so I can do that with not affecting too much of the fish just out the sides because the weed edges are a little bit away. Bait on it. And I'm just, yeah, I got, got mugged. Um, I'll see if I can show you. Uh, you're on there. So there's a darker patch there and it goes up and around like that and I'm just that's the weed on the outside of that and I'm just chucking it just inside in that little bit of a patch in there. This could be a good one. Oh. Oh. Go mental. Shit. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Y'all can see him. He's not a bad sucker. We got off then. Oh, he's a beast. He's a chunky sucker. Look at that. What a horse. Oh, now he's went through that hole in the bottom of my net again. Oh my god. He's a fat sucker. He's a good one. He is a decent fish. Is the hook out, mate, or you fully golfed it? He's fully golfed it. But that is a King George Whiting. That's a real good one. Alrighty guys. So you would have seen a few Whiting get caught. Not all of them. I did end up getting quite a few. We have done our first ever bag out Whiting in the kayak, which is unreal. The smallest being about 29, 28. But here's the Esky load. Our bigger one's going nearly 40. So, not bad size, providing good feed for the summer. Um, if you do want to be able to do this and go out and catch some whiting with confidence, um, make sure you go and check out our last video, well, our last whiting, how to catch King George whiting video. Um, I did exactly what we said in that, all the run through on that, how to go about it and what ground you're looking for i literally just went out and did exactly what i did in the video on how to catch them um so yeah hopefully we can keep up the good work because that was an awesome session no one else out as well so it was awesome um but yeah a few good ting ting wow Not even a pretty one.